at today's paint out we're at harkness vineyards near winchester kathy edwards is who uh is our host and her daughter dini uh, we actually had a good turnout today even though there's thunder rumbling in the background and uh, uh, overcast guys uh, still got the painting in and here's what i ended up with if i can get it lined up here <laughs> hard to do this at a reverse angle I get to play the crazy artist where I'm talking to myself, standing in a field talking to myself is what this is like with a selfie. At least I'm in the picture now. I'm starting to get the hang of this as a overgrown teenager now. You see the incredible panorama all around, all kinds of choices of what to paint. And behind me is the tasting room of the vineyard, the what they call the peach house. So let me turn around here and show you the scene again behind me that I was painting. And uh, another good day, um, nice cool temperatures. Um, we're finally out all that humidity and the 105 heat index and all that. So uh, anyway, watch step by step as I progress with this pastel and I'll also show you what the other artists are up to. Thanks for watching. Well, that thunder turned into a rain delay, but it actually hit at a good time. We got about three hours of, uh, maybe two hours of painting in. And as the rain started, we went into the tasting room and uh, several of the artists sampled uh, the great wines at Harkness. I'll take their word for it. I had an L8. And uh, we uh, enjoyed learning about the farm and the vineyard from Nene Edwards, uh, Kathy's daughter. And uh, so the rest of the video, I'm going to let her tell the story. And that's what I like to do with these painting videos. It's not really a how-to. It's just kind of an encouragement to folks to give this a try. And the greatest fun of all is to be with other artists at all different skill levels, from beginner to expert to professional with their own galleries, a little bit of everything. And uh, so as Nini talks about the farm and that, I'll show the progress, the work of the other artists, and uh, you'll get to see them in the tasting room. So uh, enjoy uh, the fun of plein air painting uh, through uh, this video. And uh, consider joining a local group. It's a good way to learn because uh, all the artists are so helpful and encouraging to each other. And uh, that's what I hope is unique about this channel is to highlight the places that we visit. Uh, many of them are inspired locations and also get to meet uh, other artists as we all learn together. So um, we have been in the vineyard industry since about 2000. So we were a cattle and tobacco farm first. <laughs> and um, we switched crops because obviously the tobacco industry was going out of the window. So uh, we wanted to do something with the farm. So we said we are going to grow a vineyard because we could have done another, any other craft beverage, I guess, but we wanted to make sure we utilized the vineyard or the farm, I should say. So that's why we did the vineyard. We were a private, we did, we were not open to the public for a really long time. Um, we just, we had family, friends, you know, that type of thing. And we just uh, out to the vineyard and we didn't have a public tasting room, but we did sell our product via a wholesale to Liquor Barn, Kroger, Total Wine, places like that, which we still do. But um, so we didn't become public and allow people to come here until about three or four years ago. I'd say it's almost four years ago now. Wow. So um, this is all relatively new in the grand scheme for us. And um, we had this house, my grandmother lived here, and um, she's the one who renovated it. She painted it peach, and <laughs> yes, so we love that. She's uh, She lived in Palm Beach for a while, so you can kind of get the connection with the influence. <laughs> influence. And um, so she moved in with my aunt, and she said, you know, we, we will need a tasting room, so this is the perfect tasting room. So that was kind of how That's this. beautifully done. For Thank you. Yeah, this house was built in 1890, 
and by the Joneses. They they lived here from 1890 to 1980, and they just kept turning over generations. And they owned all this farmland. They were big tobacco farmers that they owned thousands of acres before it kind of got developed a little bit more. And um, so there was two owners in between us and the Joneses. And uh, this was one of the first houses in Clark County to have running water and electricity, which is kind of cool. <laughs> My dad is Harkness Edwards. That's his full name. Yeah. And um, he is the winemaker. And then my mom, Kathy Edwards, is the vineyard manager. So she does all the vineyards. Then um, me, Nene Edwards, I run the tasting room. And then my sister, Beth Edwards, now Beth Arnett, she helps with a lot of our graphic design. So like this is, these are the two that I really love that she did. She did the danger bottle. And this one's kind of hard to see, but I love this one, the night here in. She did both of these. She, yeah, Beth did this. She's an amazing artist. Regina, can you remember the caption on that painting? Because I want to get yeah. that on camera. So there's a painting back there that says an Italian proverb, one cask of wine can create more miracles than a full church of saints. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs>